Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'll show you how to make this exact animation in Blender. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so start off by switching from Blend Render to Cycles Render, and then select the lamp and click X to delete it. Then select the cube and add the ocean modifier. Okay, and then increase the amount of repetitions to 3 on both the X axis and the Y axis. And then increase the resolution to 15 if you have a decent computer and then set the scale to 0.6. Now because I want to make the tutorial short I'm not going to explain the values but if you hold the mouse cursor above the value you will see what it means. Okay so let's uh, animate the time so click I to keyframe the time then move forward to frame 250 and then change the time value to 10 and then click I to keyframe. And that's all you have to do to animate the ocean, but we need to go into the graph editor and make sure the animation is linear. So click T and then click linear. And then we have a linear animation where the waves move at the same rate throughout the whole animation, which is very important. So uh, let's go to the world settings. And for the environment texture, we need to download two images. So just go to olaf3d.com and go to finished files. And then download these two images. The first one is for the wall that we will add later. And the second image is the world, which we'll use right now. So just make sure to download them and then we can go back to Blender and use them. Okay, so click open and then find the world image and then select it. And then click open image. And uh, if you have a GPU, make sure to change the device to GPU. If not, just keep using the CPU. Okay, so let's add a material for the ocean. So select the ocean. And then click use nodes. And then use a mixed shader for the surface. And then set the factor to 0.2, which is the ratio between the two uh, materials. And then the first one will be a glass material. And the roughness will be 0 0.05. And then the color completely white. And then for the second shader, set it to uh, glass. And then set the IOR to 1.33. And uh, by using shift set, you can switch between rendered view and solid view. And then add a plane, click S to scale it up. And then click R, Y, then 90. To rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis. And then click R, X, 90. To rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. Then click G, the next to grab it on the X axis. And then click G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. Click S to scale, and then S, then Y to scale it on the Y axis. Then click G, then set to grab it on the Z axis. And now we need to go into edit mode to unwrap it. So uh, click edit mode, and then click U, and click unwrap. Then open up a new window, and then change to UV image editor, and then open the second image, which is the wall image. Then open image. As you can see, we have the second image, and I click New for a new material. Then change it from Diffuse to Emission. And then next to Color, select Image Texture. And then all we have to do is to select the wall image. And then when we click Shift Set, you will see that we have the wall image behind the uh, water. So now we need to set up the camera. So uh, click uh, Tab to go back to Object Mode. Click File and click Save As. Let's save the file before we start setting up the camera. Okay, and then click numpad 0 to see through the camera. Then click shift F to use the fly cam. And you move around with W, A, S and D. Just like in a video game on your computer. Then click tab to switch between uh, gravity and non-gravity. And select the right position. And then make sure to increase the end of the clipping for the camera as well. So that you can see even further. Okay, so now we have the basic setup. I hope I wasn't too quick, but uh, all we have to do now is to make the last adjustments before we go into the render settings. So just make sure there are no gaps between the ocean and the uh, wall, and uh, that everything is within the frame of the camera. So I think it looks nice. Maybe lift it up a bit on the Z axis. And uh, yeah, I think it looks good. So uh, let's go into the render settings. So uh, the render settings are at the uh, camera icon. So select the camera icon, increase the resolution quality to 100%, and then select an output folder for the animation, make a new one, 
just give it a name, save it wherever you want on the computer, and then select the folder, give the animation a name, we will render these out as PNG files, and um, then scroll down to sampling, and I would probably set it to 300, if you have a slow computer, maybe set it to 150, and then if you have a GPU, make sure to increase the tile size to 500, if not, just leave them at uh, 64. And uh, this is what it looks like after some rendering. I obviously speed up the rendering process and then just click animation to render out the whole animation. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll post a new tutorial very soon. So thanks for watching and subscribe.